In this video tutorial, we will explore the software for the first time and introduce the main browse features and the material tree. When we open CES EduPack, we are presented with a database window. From here, we can select the most appropriate database for our project. The introductory databases, containing Level 1 and Level 2, are here on the left. These are available in different languages, depending on what has been installed. The more advanced databases, covered in other video tutorials, are here on the right. We are going to look at the introductory database Level 1 in English. So let's click on the Level 1 database. If this is your first time using CES EduPack, the First Steps page can help you get started quickly. This page highlights the main functions of the software and gives links to further support under More Information. In the main toolbar, we have the option to click on the Browse, Search or Chart Select button. We will focus on Browse in this tutorial. Another way to access Browse is via the home page by clicking on the subset applicable. By default, we are in the Material Universe, and other tables are displayed below, such as Process Universe. These two data tables are simply a compilation of materials and processes, respectively. Let's click on the All Materials subset. The Browse panel now appears on the left. Note that if you want to change the settings, you can also do it via the drop-down menus here. Below is the structure of the materials tree. You can see they are divided into their classes. By expanding the folders, we have access to approximately 70 materials. Note that there are some folders with an eye on them. If you double-click, it opens a datasheet with general information about the material classes represented in charts. This will be covered in another video. Let's browse to a material record. For example, if we are interested in non-ferrous metals and alloys, we can expand the folder Non-Ferrous by clicking on the arrow. As you can see, the main non-ferrous material records are displayed. If we are particularly interested in nickel alloys, we can open its record by double-clicking on the name. In the following tutorial, we will look at a typical datasheet, explore science notes, and show a level 2 record and its additional properties.